Hey everyone, I'm Leanne. If you don't know me, and if you do know me and you're back, thank you so much. I'm glad to have you guys back today. We are in my bathroom. It is 2021 and I am sleepy. I actually just woke up from a nap still sleepy, didn't really help. I thought it would power me up. I tried to preserve my makeup and hair. I don't know if it worked, but here we are. We are attempting to accomplish small goals. I have what may seem like the smallest goal in the world to accomplish with you today, but I promise you, this is gonna change my life day to day. We are looking at what's in my drawer. I don't know if you remember when I cleaned out my bathroom in the last house last year when I moved, I was going through everything, all the drawers, all the cabinets, and it was just tons of junk, tons of products. I really pared it down and I feel like I've done a pretty good job not letting it get out of control in this house, but this one drawer, it's out of hand. It almost doesn't close. I kind of share it with Grant. We put our toothpaste in this drawer, so like, he also has to interact with this drawer and I feel shame about it because it's gotten so out of hand. It's like my main drawer. And when I did that video where I was cleaning everything out, I was talking about how we don't do what's in my bag videos. That used to be a huge thing. And I, I don't care what's in anybody's bag anymore at that point. I, I don't know why any of us cared at any point. Right now, I do think what's in my drawer videos could totally be big. So this is my what's in my drawer video slash I, I'm decluttering this drawer, not only because there's too much junk in there, there's expired stuff in there. And on top of that, since I'm now pregnant, there are a lot of skincare ingredients I have to be aware of and try to avoid. And I've already been trying to do that in the last few months as I've been trying to get pregnant and really in the last year, it's for real now. I really have to avoid those things, no questions asked. And there's no reason for them to be sitting in my drawer for the next almost year, like we just don't need it. I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's gonna be hard because I got a lot of good stuff in here, but we're just gonna make it happen. Hopefully this can be a little bit of motivation for you guys to accomplish this small goal with me, clean out your drawer. I don't think this is gonna be like a trend that takes off on YouTube, like what's in my drawer, but it would kind of be fun if it did, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I put it off long enough. I've done no prep work here at all. It is just, madness there's probably like hair in this drawer and old stuff it's bad but we're gonna make it better i just feel like looking at my bathroom cabinets my whole little area here like it looks okay it looks pretty good and you just would not suspect what lies beneath wow my retainer oh i told you guys it was bad but we're gonna work through it all right so obviously we could just take the basic needs out of the way my retainer obviously we're keeping this my glasses also definitely keeping and then we've got two different types of deodorant I'm keeping both. And then another daily essential for me, skincare wise, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you've seen me talk about this a thousand times, the CeraVe PM lotion. I love this stuff. It's nice and lightweight. I have oily skin, so that's very, very helpful. These are my current favorite tanning drops, Tanologist face and body, and I get them in dark. I really like these. I mix them in with my moisturizer and they just give me a nice glow overnight. Next up, one of my favorite sunscreens that I use basically every day, the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier SPF 45. I probably need to look this one up, but I'm pretty sure it's safe. Honestly, do not come for me <laughs> or send me like 95,000 of the exact same comment if I get something wrong as far as being pregnancy safe. If I'm not sure, I will tell you, I'm not sure. I'm not absolutely positive about this sunscreen. Next up, this is something a little bit newer for me and it's something that I'm pretty sure I haven't talked about on my channel. It's also something I don't know how to pronounce. It's the uh, Bakuchiol and AHAs. Probably getting that wrong, but this is a product that is supposed to mimic the results that you get when you use retinol or retinoid, but it doesn't have any of those ingredients in it because you're not allowed to use that during pregnancy or when you're trying to get pregnant. So I had to try it. It is a very interesting purple color and it smells strangely good. It smells like something I would totally like to eat. And since I've had this, I haven't really been using it super, super frequently. So I don't know that I can give you a full review. I'm just excited that it's supposed to give you all these benefits, but 
not any of the risks. So definitely keeping that. Okay, next up, a product that is absolutely going in the garbage. This is Epiduo. It was a prescription, and honestly, I got this years ago. It's a spot treatment. It is an acne treatment, and it works really, really well, but I'm pretty sure it's not safe during pregnancy, but it is really old, definitely expired, and it's just, it's just time to go. It's probably not even effective anymore. Contact case, keeping that floss. Definitely need that. A little bit of a shine powder. We're gonna keep that. Ooh, one of these guys. Do you guys know what this is? I can't even think of the name of it. Flawless, like flawless touch, something like that. It's supposed to shave the peach fuzz off of your face. I use it on my mustache. It pretty much works. I've got no complaints. Okay, next up. This is a bite agave lip treatment. Honestly, I got this in like a little gift set and I heard so many good things about this stuff and I saw no benefit. That's why there is such a small dent in it. I am gonna get rid of this. I was very, very disappointed by this. Toothpaste, like I said, this is the shared moment in this drawer. We really need some new toothpaste. Ooh, here we go. This drunk elephant deodorant, this stuff, is so nice, I really like it. It has mandelic acid in it, but I'm pretty sure I saw that on the okay list as long as it was at a safe concentration. So I'll have to look this one up to make sure, but I actually really like this natural deodorant. Here's something that needs to go. I've had this for way too long. It's the Colleen Rothschild Intense Hydrating Mask. I was totally influenced on this one from someone on Instagram that was talking it up. It was definitely expensive and for whatever reason, Reason. I did not use it, but it was so expensive. I felt guilty to get rid of it. And I've just had it floating around in my drawer for way too long. It's got to go. I hate when that happens. All right, next up with this cleanser, I do like it. It is running out. I have had it for a long time. So I do think I probably need to get rid of it, but it has 2% salicylic acid in it. And that is something that I've gotten conflicting results on, whether it is safe or not. I've seen some places it says that it is safe as long as it's 2% and under it's not like a chemical peel level of salicylic acid so I'm pretty sure I'd be safe using a cleanser like this but other places say we're not so sure so you better just avoid it altogether but either way I do think I've had this cleanser a little too long and I'm not using it like I used to so I'm just gonna let it go okay next up this is a tough one the drunk elephant Sukari baby facial this one's not pregnancy safe it is an expensive product and I do feel like it really does work on your skin and I hate to get rid of it. I'm gonna try to see if I know anybody that wants it because I just hate to toss it out. Drunk Elephant is just too expensive, you know? Next up, this is another one that I've just had for way too long and it almost feels like it could be empty. It is a pretty small container, the CeraVe Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I'm just gonna let this go. Now here's a product that I'm definitely gonna be sad to lose if it is not pregnancy safe and honestly, I need to do a little bit more research on it to check because looking at the back, I don't see any active ingredients listed. So I'm not positive, but it's the Murad Clarifying Oil-Free Water Gel. And like I said, I have oily skin and I do really feel like using this as a moisturizer really helped keep oil at bay. I've kind of backed off of it a little bit just because I hadn't done my research on it and I wasn't positive. And I do really feel like it has an effect on my skin. So I'm like, this is too good to be true. <laughs> I'm probably not supposed to be using this, but I'm gonna keep this and do a little bit more research because I really, really like it. Okay, next up, this is the eye cream I've been using lately. It's the Murad Vita C Eyes. It's a dark circle corrector. Honestly, I don't really feel like it's worked any miracles on my under eyes, but it's just what I've been using lately. Ooh, okay, here's something that has to go. Obviously, I've had this forever. It is down to the last drop, but it is Retin-A, prescription Retin-A. This stuff works miracles. If you've seen my mom, she has used this stuff for decades. It really does work miracles. And I hate that you can't use it during pregnancy or while you're trying. I haven't really been using it for the past year. Actually, well over a year because we've been trying so long. What I've read really points to oral ingestion of Retin-A and vitamin A, um, but they also rule out topical treatments. So we gotta say goodbye. This is just some straight up 
garbage it looks like. Next up, we have another Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. I honestly have had this in my drawer for so long and I don't use it. I don't know why. I definitely wanna check on it, but I'm pretty torn on keeping it because I haven't been using it. I don't wanna keep stuff that I haven't been using. We're gonna put it in the look it up pile. Okay, next up we have the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream from Drunk Elephant. Honestly, this tore up my under eyes and I've had it for so long and I keep not wanting to throw it out because it's Drunk Elephant and I've had such good luck with their products, but for whatever reason, this one just did not agree with me. It dried out my under eyes. It gave me so much dryness and, and I'm not a dry person. So I was really stunned by that and I keep meaning to go back to it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna let it go. Over here we have a whole collection of roller balls. I do still like all of these fragrances. To be honest with you, for the past year, two years, I've really been holding back on fragrances because I read somewhere that it's not very helpful when you're trying to conceive. But then in the last couple of months, I kind of threw that out and I was like, whatever, I don't think this is what's hurting me. And so I'm back to using my perfumes and I still really like collecting these little roller balls. Wow, this guy has obviously seen better days. Gotta go, refresh. Oh, this is a product that Grant and I also share, eye drops. A tape measure. I feel like you need a tape measure of any kind, every kind, everywhere. Like you need one in your purse, you need one in the kitchen, you need one in the living room. Apparently I need one in the bathroom. So definitely keeping this even though it's kind of a junky choice. This Cetaphil Pro Derma Control Oil Absorbing Moisturizer with SPF 30. I feel like it works, but at the same time, I don't know, I'm not in love with it for some reason. There is something about this that I don't love and I'd rather layer a moisturizer and an SPF. So not too sure about keeping this one. Next up, this one is definitely going, the Super Goop CC Cream. I just did not get along with this product. It was recommended. It just got so oily. It made my skin look so awful. And it was recommended by a YouTuber and it just didn't work for me. And it's probably just my skin type did not get along with it. And so it's like completely full. I don't think it was cheap, but it's gotta go. We're getting down to the depths here. Okay, here is a spot treatment. I think that I was having a big problem at one point. I was like, I'll try anything. And this says, reduces size and redness in just two hours. And this one has benzoyl peroxide. I feel like it's safe, but I need to look it up. Luckily, the breakouts that were popping up whenever I was first starting the transfer process, the embryo transfer, they've kind of slowed down a bit. So I'm not as in need of spot treatments. I'm not saying it couldn't get worse from here. It totally could, but we'll have to see. Ooh, look, we have a mommy and a baby. Proteiny polypeptide cream. I used to use this stuff like crazy and I really loved it and I actually still love it and I wish I still used it, but I felt like maybe it was giving me worse milia. I now kind of think that I am just a person that gets milia. It is in my genetics. So I could probably go back to this, but at the same time, I've also had at least this one for a very, very long time and I probably need to let it go. Yeah, it's acting weird. It's definitely time to go. What is this? Bamboo Booster Exfoliant. <sighs> For whatever reason, I just don't get into products like this. I love the tiny size. I think it was kind of uh, something that came in the packaging with another product, and that's why I have this. <laughs> I didn't buy like a finger-sized product. I'd like to try it though. I've actually never tried it, so I'm gonna keep it. Probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Okay, here we have another mommy and baby TLC Frambus Glycolic Night Serum. This is definitely a product that I like, but I have been careful about using as I've been trying to get pregnant. And since I've been pregnant, I haven't used it. I need to do some better research on it. Um, at one point I saw that all of the Drunk Elephant products were safe for pregnancy except for the baby facial, but I wanna double check on this one. Do not freak out on me if I'm wrong about any of these products. I, I really don't need that, and trust me, I'm checking everything before I put it on my face or in my mouth or in my body. Trust me. Next up, we have the 
virgin marula luxury facial oil i don't use this stuff as much as i should and honestly i've probably had it for way too long over here we've got some alcohol swabs and some flosser things oh this this packaging is not cute. And then here, you guys are gonna scream at me for having this. Oh my gosh. It's like an extraction kit. I ordered this on Amazon. I have no regrets. I know you're not supposed to be using tools like this on yourself at home, but I have and I do. I do not apologize. <laughs> I'm keeping this. Next up, I have this Clinique Moisture Surge. I really like this moisturizer. It is really, really nice. It feels good on my skin. It's not heavy, but it's super moisturizing. Okay, this was a sample. Honestly, I've never used it. I'm gonna get rid of it. This is a lightning round. <laughs> I love this sunscreen. It's the Super Goop 100% Mineral Matte Sunscreen. This one is tinted. I kind of got away from using this one as much, but I used to order this over and over and over again, and I still use it and I still love it. Next up, we have a little lip balm from NARS. Very nice. Keeping you. We have a little touch-up powder. I ordered this from Walmart. It's nice. Just for whenever I'm getting oily. And my teeth whitener. So so to this day, I still get questions about how I whiten my teeth. And if you've been with my channel for, I don't know, 10 years, you probably know I use this and I've been using this for so long. It works. It's inexpensive. I'll link it down below. It's amazing. And you don't have to use it often. And I get a tiny bit of sensitivity the same day I use it, but then it goes away and it totally doesn't bother me. And with other whitening products, I've had problems and this doesn't give me problems, I love it. All right, next up, this is another sunscreen that I love, but I've kind of gotten away from using. It does make me a little bit more oily than the Murad and the Super Goop. So not my favorite anymore, but I've had good times with it. So I'm gonna keep it. Okay, next I have some scar gel. I can't really tell you if this works and I honestly can't even remember why I bought this. I'm always bumping myself, scraping, getting a random cut somewhere. So it's probably kind of an impulse purchase. Kind of don't want to keep this. I think I'm going to put this in our first aid section. This doesn't need to be in this drawer. Okay, here, this is definitely a favorite. The Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. Again, it has a salicylic acid, so I'm not sure if it's okay. I haven't been using it, but I'm going to look it up. I feel like it's something that I'm gonna have to let go, but this was definitely a huge favorite that I discovered in the last year when I felt like it was safe to use it. Okay, next, this is something that I love and I always forget to use it. It's the Drunk Elephant de Bronzy. It's like a bronzing goo. <laughs> wow, that came out really fast. And you mix it in with your moisturizer and it's just kind of like a light bronzer, like a bronzer tinted moisturizer kind of thing. And I just always forget because it's an extra step. Here we have lactic acid 10% from The Ordinary. I'm pretty sure this is on the safe list, but again, I'm gonna look it up. And here we have the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. It is a all-in-one lactic acid treatment. And I'm pretty sure this one is safe for pregnancy, but I'm gonna look it up and make sure. I have been using that one on and off. Next is another Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Brightening Serum. Gonna keep this one. And then over here, this big blue one, it's the Drunk Elephant F Balm. Why have I never noticed that that's what this was called? The Electrolyte Water Facial. I don't use this one. I liked it while I did use it, but I don't know, got away from it somehow. All right, now we just have this little organizer off to the side. Clearly I need more organizers in here, but initially this was supposed to be like my go-to stuff. Clearly that's, that's not happening anymore. We have a lot of little hair tools that I definitely appreciate having right here. Quick, easy to grab, a lot of little clips. A lot of these guys, I still use these. Probably too many for like a quick grab situation, but that's why we're doing this. Just a ton of these little claw clips. I live and breathe for these things. They keep me going. Do you see how they're broken? I don't know what it is about my hair. I don't have thick hair. I have very fine hair, but I break these clips 
like daily. I don't really use these clear elastics that much. I don't know how these are getting in here. That's a mystery. I'm not sure how this Laura Mercier lip pencil got in here. It definitely looks like my color, but I don't know why it's here. We've got some little makeup fixing Q-tips at the ready. That's okay, slightly used. <laughs> this thing, oh, I think I've talked to you guys about this on my Instagram story, but maybe nowhere else. This little tool from Revlon is a little roller ball that absorbs oil. It is so crazy. I don't know how it works, but it definitely works. It's not my go-to oil control tool, but I definitely do appreciate that it actually works. And it's like the simplest thing and it never ever makes you cakey. The only thing it does do sometimes is maybe take away from your makeup a little bit, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. We have a Tarte Shape Tape in, I think, definitely the wrong shade for me. I don't know why this is here. I don't use this. <laughs> Lip balm that I've had forever. I'm still gonna keep it. I don't know what this belongs to. My Thimometer, Thimometer. This is what I used for so, so, so long to measure my basal body temperature every single day while trying to conceive. I am so happy I don't use this thing every single day anymore. It was such a pain. I was committed though, a little spoolie. This is my jewelry cleaner. I have another jewelry cleaner that's a little bit more involved, but this little diamond dazzle stick totally works for like quick shine ups of your rings, whatever, earrings, just like a little brush like this. Totally works. I will link this one down below. Next, we have two different lash serums. Both of these were pretty pricey and I hate to get rid of them, but I am pretty sure that these are not pregnancy safe. I'm gonna double check, but I haven't been using them. I hate to get rid of them. My lashes are a joke right now, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they have to go. I'm gonna double check. Yet another lash serum. I actually thought this one worked really, really well. And I don't feel like a lot of people talk about this one. Okay, it was just a bunch of junk. And now I need to wipe this out. All right, if you watched my last bathroom clean out at the old house, you know, this looks way better, but it is definitely still pretty gross and I need to clean this shelf paper out. Okay, big reveal. Dun dun dun. It's a lot better, you've got to admit. I only introduced one more little organizer because honestly, sometimes I feel like these can cut down how much you can hold in a drawer and maybe that's a good thing, but I only wanted to add one more for high use products so I could always reach for them very, very easily and then put smaller items right here, but also things I reach for a lot, a lot, a lot in this one. I think it looks pretty good. It definitely looks worlds better than where it started. It's it's opening and closing without any resistance. I feel like that's major progress. It's still a lot, but I'm proud of it. I definitely achieved my small goal for today. That is what's in my drawer. If you're another YouTuber, feel free to steal this idea and show what's in your drawer. I am curious about ever everyone's skincare out there. And if you have any favorites that worked really well for you, maybe if you had like pregnancy breakouts or something like that, what was your favorite product? I'm definitely really interested. And again, I have to say, please don't freak out on me if I made any mistakes. I'm definitely looking everything up along the way as I'm using it. So don't be afraid for me, <laughs> it will be okay. I'm trying my best, please trust me in all cases, in all moments, I'm trying my best. And hopefully you guys can trust me on that. Anyway, that's everything for today. I will definitely try to link some of the most notable products in the description down below if you wanna check them out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. I appreciate it so much. You can also find me on social media everywhere. It's Leanne Says. And that's it. Thanks. I love you. Bye. I have this Clinique Sunday Rally. It's a spot trip. It seems like the research. Come on now. Toonie, come here. I'm trying my breath. <laughs>